Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of Steves, and I am back in the side of No Man's Sky, and we are pushing on with the Artemis questline. Run the ghosts in the machine. Yes, it says expand your stuff at your new home, which we did last episode. We now have a little Gek cohort. But yes, now we need to actually set on out and get ourselves a Corvax sort of station here. In fact, I think I might be able to build the Corvax station if I am to get myself the resources that are required. So where is the uh, Corvax station? Corvax station, where are they? Okay, um... Well, that's... Bizarre. Okay, it's probably in one of these menus somewhere, but I'm not finding it for love nor money. But I remember that last episode, we had to find ourselves some copper to spin into chromatic metal. So let's have a look, see. Let's see if we can spot ourselves some chromatic metal. Now, ah, I, I don't think there's any deposits around. There's a salt deposit. A salt deposit. And that is pretty much it. We've got a phosphorus deposit. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to fly a little way away and see if I can actually find some copper. Now, there is ways of spotting copper from the air while you're inside of your ship. So you see that lump of green stuff right there? If I was to fly over that and fly quite slowly and shoot at it, as you get closer and you start shooting, sometimes it will tell you what the resource is. I think that one is salt. So, oh, hold on. What we got there? That looks rather red. Okay, that could be phosphorus, or it could be copper. It's phosphorus. You can see that it popped up, said phosphorus. All right, so we'll just carry on flying around until we see ourselves another sort of glorious looking deposit. Hold on, that one looks yellow. You can tell that one's yellow from a freaking mile off. That's gonna be copper, but because of the floating rock above it, I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to show you. Yeah, it is copper. It popped up copper there. You may have been able to see that. The sneaky-eyed amongst you. The eagle-eyed. Oh, yes! Right, let's, uh, let's get the terrain manipulator on point, shall we? Let's start mining this. I'm going to try and shrink the beam a little bit smaller if I can. At the moment, it's just making me go invisible. It's the same button as your cloaking device. But I think I've managed to shrink that. Anyway, let's get ourselves some lovely, lovely copper ore. And we can turn this copper ore into chromatic metal. Heck yes, we can. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's up to work we go. Yes, mining song. It's from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, people. All right, anyway, you've all seen mining happen before, so, you know, I'll reconvene after I've got all this out the ground. Well, chums, I've got my copper. I've got 493 of it. And we'll just put it inside of my personal refiner on my person, and I'm just going to spin that into action. No, I haven't actually looked at what the animation's like on this new jetpack. Oh, that's rather disappointing. A lot of the other jetpacks have got gnarly sort of progress rings and stuff, or little bits of smoke that pop out. This one just gently wiggles. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And that's about all it freaking does. All right, okay. Well, that's a little bit, that's a little bit disappointing, isn't it? Like I just said, yeah. No, okay. Right, anyway, we've got to go to the mission log. Log. Construct terminals for specialist research. Okay, and recruit amongst the space stations. All right, well, I might as well head back to my old base and see if I can find these blinking blueprints. Or actually, I might have to go to the Nexus and buy the blueprints because I honestly didn't see them inside of my building list. So it's a bit weird that the missions aren't pointing me to the right places at the moment. I'm just going to go and check the blueprints up at the actual uh, Nexus and see if I've got them. Okay, I won't be long, people. I won't be long. Yeah, maybe I maybe I missed it in my build menu. Who knows? Okay, chums, well, I'm up in the old Nexus. I'm just going past the base building computer and straight over to this little terminal over here. This is one I mentioned in previous episode that is handy to sort of, like, expand out your actual inventory space. Every time you jump, call in the Nexus. Hit that up. If, you, if you've got to call in the Nexus, you might as well, mightn't you? Right. Is buying this going to make my salvage data go down inside of creative mode? Let's have a look. Did that just... No, I didn't spend anything. Great. So now I'm just going to buy freaking everything inside of this base building terminus. Might as well get everything. This is going to take me ages. I wish there was a button that says purchase all for everything on the page. You know like how you can turn in all nanites by clicking somewhere up here? 
be nice if you click up there and it says, do you want to purchase all of them? Comes up with the ter title amount and you just hit yes, because doing this on every individual item is just tedium upon tedium. Hello games, sort it out. Surely you must play this game in your office and surely you must get to this stage and think, oh my God, this is like watching paint dry. Okay, uh, yes, it is like watching paint dry. Yeah, but yeah, probably less impressive in fact. Item received. It drives you freaking insane hearing that over and over again. It really does, I guess. All right, anyway, I'm going to go do this and I'm probably make myself a cup of tea to drown out the freaking insanity. All right, there you go. Okay, chums, you don't actually unlock the scientific bay or anything like that through this menu. I've gone through and unlocked everything inside of here, which took me a month for freaking Sundays, just saying. And as I come out, it's going to do this by my head now for probably a month for Sundays as well. Okay, fun times. Anyway, while it's doing that, I'm going to run over to the portal and I'm going to portal back to my base and see if I can do anything right now. Okay. What, why is it saying go and speak to Eos inside the space anomaly? What mission has it gone and stuck me on now? Alright, um, if I can get in the right poxy menu. Log. Why has it gone on to industrial surveying for no freaking reason? No, I want to do that one. Give me that mission. Yeah, it doesn't really give me much clues of exactly what I've got to do right now. Maybe I shouldn't have turned it off last time, people, because I, I really don't remember what it is that I've got to do. I think I've got to build a scientific terminal, but I'm not seeing the blueprint to do that at my base. Well, people, I wonder if I go and interact with my base computer, whether it might give me something then. It's gone on to the industrial surveying again. What the blinking playing at? No, I want to do that mission. Stay on that freaking mission, please. Yeah. Let's go hit this up. Let's go see if there's anything in there. Nope, it's not giving me any dialogues or anything like that. I'll just upload the base then. Right, I'll have a look in the old base blueprints one more time and see if I can see the terminal. Maybe I missed it last time with my eye peepers. Normally, when it's something mission related, though, it would flash inside of here. I'm not seeing the terminals in here. I mean, maybe I'm going crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm not seeing them, to be fair. I'll tell you. Oh, there you go. There's there's the construction terminal. But there's no scientific terminal here right now. Right, I'll just talk to this guy. And see if he gives me anything to go by. The chromatic metal friend. Do you have it? Yes, I do! Why has he not got a mission marker above his freaking head? Okay, there we are. Bazaar. Bazaar and huzzah. Apologize. I've got it. I've got it. Okay, cool. Ah, well now I've got this flashing up. Who freaking knows if I've actually been successful with actually doing what I needed to do? Let's talk to him again. Chromatic friend, do you have. Yes, I've got a load of it on me. Okay. Right. Well, inside of my actual person right now, where's my chromatic metal? There it is. I've got 246 chromatic metal. Do I need more than that? I mean, it would be nice if it told me the quantity, wouldn't it? All right. Well, um, you know, let's, let's just stick this down. How? Go over to this. Get my chromatic metal. Chromatic metal. Where are you, chromatic metal? Stick that in there. And I'm just going to put another one of these directly on top of this one. Let's go into the old build mode so I can see exactly what I'm doing. I wish that all these items weren't flashing up right now. Stick that there. Oh, great. Right, and another one. Okay, let's do it just in this mode then. How? And again. How? And again. How? And again. Ow, and again. Ow. Right. Now let's pick this up. Let's get a shed load of chromatic metal. Because this is flashing up, I don't know whether that actually worked. Um, 
So we just have a look inside of here and we'll see if we've got it. I've got 1,700 chromatic metal now, my little goblin freaking friend. All right, come on. Do you have it? Yes! I've got freaking stacks of it now! Stacks! Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on, people. I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. It shouldn't need more than a thousand freaking chromatic metal. I think the game might be broken, people. That's that's what I'm going with. Um, I think it might be broken. I'm not 100% sure, but it could be broken. Okay, let's, uh, let's try this again. Let's double up this time, shall we? Okay, come on. Oh, man, this is so twitchy on freaking Xbox joypad. It really is. This is well hard to do on Xbox. Right. There you go. And there we are. Well, an Xbox pad in a PC, I should say. You know, it's not made for this. So maybe that's part of it. God! All these base parts popping up. Insane. Right, mate. I've got your freaking chromatic metal. Yes! Yes, I do! I've got loads of chromatic metal. Oh, fudge sake. Okay, can I reset this mission or something? Yeah, it seems to be buggered. Seems to be proper royally fudged. Alright, um... Maybe I go somewhere else and build a second base? Uh, that's the only thing I can think of doing right now, people. Not that I want to. You know, I quite like where I am, but... Uh, yeah, that's that's the only thing I can think of really doing. It seems to be knackered. Hmm. Strange that. Oh, budget. All right, where's my ship? Oh, it's up there. Come on, then, ship. Maybe it's because multiplayer's on. Go to network. Let's turn multiplayer off. Oh, it's already freaking off, isn't it? Yeah, it's already off. It's already off. We still got all those bits popping up. Yes, we do. All right, I'll reconvene in a bit, people, when I try and work out how to freaking move this on. Right there, chums. Well, I've jumped through a black hole to get myself away from other people's bases. At least I thought it would, anyway. But nope, there's other people's bases already here, so fudge it. I'm going to jump again and try and get away from this system that's near to the, the actual rendezvous system. So I just want to try and get away as far as possible. I just want a normal sort of system. Yeah, that'd do. We'll go there. Hopefully it hasn't been discovered by anyone. I think there's a way of telling whether something's been discovered by someone from the galactic map unless I'm missing something. Okay, chums, I'm on a completely different planet. I found another trading post. I put down this chap. Let's go talk to him now. Let's see if he thinks that I've got it. Should let the get get on with their business. Right, okay. Let's, um, maybe I haven't got enough bits down for this to actually count as being a base yet. So, I'll get on with making this more basified, I think, people. And uh, see how we get on in a bit. I'll stick that there. Lovely. Need a load of sat um, solar panels and things like that. I'll get to work and I'll reconvene with you in a moment. Okay, chums, well, I built a base, but it didn't do anything. I uploaded it, and it kept saying, you know, just leave him to his work. So I thought I'd come to a Corvax system and see if I can actually recruit a Corvax for my base. Not that it's given me the ability to right now. Um, and I really don't think that's going to work. So I'm going to jump back to my initial base and see if it actually works back there. So let's... Um, Let's go back to my initial base. Let's go talk to the Gek again. Let's hope that something happens. However, I'm wondering, you know it kept jumping onto that mining mission of finding a hotspot. Maybe I have to do that for some unknown reason? Who freaking knows? Okay, so he is just saying, the chromatic metal, do you have it, friend? And I do. Okay. Uh, I've, I've, I mean, I've got it. And it's not registering that I've got it. So, I'm really not too sure. Let's go on to this then. Since it kept bouncing me onto this one, is there something weird going on with this? 
Okay, let's go to my... Let's go stick this in. Alright. If this is it, I'd be really surprised. Alright, well, what, what bit of tech have I got to install, mate? Alright, well, I guess I've got to go back up to the freaking Nexus to get the blueprint for that. But I honestly don't think that's it. But it, maybe it's blocking the mission I should be doing. Where's my ship? Oh, right, yeah, underneath that gantry where I'm probably going to get stuck to shy. I'll tell you what, if I was a new player to No Man's Sky right now, I would be at the point where I'd be like, should I continue on? You know, because right now, I'm feeling that frustration myself. Part of me is thinking, could it be that I've got mods installed? Could it be that I'm playing in creative mode? It could be a lot of things. But what isn't helping is the messages. The Gex telling me to get chromatic metal. I've got over a thousand. It can't be more than that, surely. Yeah, I might have to jump on the internet at the moment and see if this is a real bug. It's mental. Could be a feature. Okay, jumps. Right, well, let's just select that mission. Let's just see what it's saying. So here, look, I've got it selected. It's not even telling me to go and speak to EOS inside of the actual space anomaly. It just in says install it, which sort of kind of feels that I should have the blueprint, right? So click in there, you'd think that the blueprint would be here for it. But I've got the combat scope, but it's not. It's not there. And the game itself is not telling me where I get the blueprint from. Which I think is pretty bad. So anyway, let's go speak to EOS. I know where to get it from. But if you as a new player, you blink it, wouldn't. All right, there it is there. Survey device. And while I'm here, I might as well just get everything off this guy, just in case I have to ever come back up here. So we go. Let's just go in. I get all these. Lovely. Oh, why does it keep kicking me out the menu? That is so freaking tedious. Again, if you've got a shed load of nanites, it'd be nice if you could click this bar up here and it says, do you want to purchase all of them? Yes or no? Because if you are playing in relaxed mode or creative mode, you can just keep going in and buying whatever you wish. Right, B to returns. It chucks you out. Oh, that's annoying. All right, I'll be right back with you people. Okay, well, I've purchased and catered every single thing from him, but the only thing I really needed was the survey device. So let's go and get that installed now, shall we, people? There we go. Hey, I don't really want to put it there. I'll put it over by the other scannery bits. Thank you very much. And there we go. Survey device. Installed. So you get it from Eos, the guy that looks like he's got a shark head. Okay. Right. Installed the survey device. All right. Has that actually completed the mission now? Install the survey device and look for hotspots. Okay, maybe I need to do that before I can move on the mission to get the scientific terminal. It's been a long time since I've done a new playthrough, people. This is a long time that I've been following the actual tutorial. And I must say, I am not overly impressed uh, so far. Okay, your bases. Let's go back to home. That's the one where he's asking for you know, chromatic metal that I have, which is bizarre. Okay, chums, well, I've installed the survey device and um, I'm looking for an electromagnetic hotspot right now. There's one that's 300 used this way. So we're going to get that one catalogued decated and we'll see if it does anything. But hopefully I haven't got to find all three freaking types of resource because that would just be dull and boring. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I know this is still learning the basics of the game, so it's it's all necessary, I suppose. But you know, there we go. I'm scanned. We've got ourselves a C-class one of those. Done. All right. Search for a power hotspot. Guess what I just found? I just found a power hotspot. That's that's what I just found. Um. Yeah. Okay, pin the hotspot marker with X. Done. It's, it's, it's there. Done. Alright. That's it. That's that's where the power hotspot marker is. Now what? Alright. Let's go to your mission then. I've done it. That's it. Power hotspot done. Alright, cool. Yeah, search terrain. Pinpoint its centre. Well, that's its freaking centre, mate. It, you can't get much more on point than... Okay, right, well, let's let's go there, then. Is that the centre? Go on. 
Alright. Mm, there then. This is just ridiculous. I have no idea what the fudge is going on right now. Let's go into options. Let's change the difficulty back to normal. And let's see if that does anything to trigger this. Yeah, there we go. Done. Now are you going to bloody work? That That's where the power hotspot is. You know, it's that's it. Okay. I have no idea what's going on, people. But I would say that a lot of these freaking things are slightly broken. Because I've done that, and obviously that's not worked. And that was the power hotspot. Yep, that's, that's the power one. Power survey. Hold on. It's just done something. It's done. All right. And now it's gone back to expand your base. Okay, right. Expand your base. Now, inside of my actual... Inside of my inventory space, let's just make... Sh let's just try moving this back to my ship and then moving it back to my person then we'll go take it back to the geck and we'll see if that works but you know that i've got i've got everything this is bizarre i honestly don't understand what's going on peeps i don't is that my base yeah that's my base sweet i mean maybe it is because i've been in creative mode maybe that's a thing it didn't used to be a thing, because I used to play in creative mode when the, first, the game first came out. Well, when they gave us the, option, the options to change to creative mode. But I used to have a creative save, even when that wasn't a thing. And I did the full playthrough. Anyway, let's, um, let's go to my inventory. Let's grab this chromatic metal. And let's just put half of it inside of my starship. Alright, so now I've got half in my starship half on my person are you going to register that I've got chromatic metal yes I've bloody got it okay the only thing I can think of people is because I've done my Omega save and I've already got the terrain manipulator installed maybe it's just not registering the fact that I can do it or maybe I've got to jump over to one of these and do something here Oh, here we go. Search for art. Maybe I've got to do this one then. Search, even though that that is Apollo the Adventurer. Maybe I've got to go back to there because it's mentioning Artemis and the mysterious Apollo. Purchase technology blueprints for new base parts above aboard the space anomaly from the Nexus. All right. Okay. Well, let's go try that then. Even though I've just bought pretty much every single one. Let's go do this. Let's go and talk to Helios and Ares. Okay. Let's go try that. And let's see if that moves the mission on. It, it's guesswork at this stage. It is honestly guesswork. It's just... It's just feeling around in the freaking dark for, for clues. I still don't know whether it was because I was in creative mode. Who knows? Okay, so this mission mentions Helios. So here's Helios here. Let's go and have a quick word with a good old Helios. And it also mentions Ares. So we go, give planet data. Thank you very much. Nanites, don't mind if I do. So we've done Helios. Now let's go speak to good old Ares. You right there, Ares? Let's go talk to Ares then. Sweet. And the last one is Apollo. Now, it hasn't done any sort of tick in the list off or anything like that right now, but... Hello, mate. Okay. Ask about portals, ask about atlas stations, ask for black holes. Yep. There we go. And you can also ask about atlas stations. I don't know whether it can put both on the map at the same time. But there we go. So, okay. So I've just done that. Search. Alright. Um, 
It says to get new base parts or something, but it's not putting up any mission markers at all. I've got all the base parts though, I think, unless it's just opened up a new page for me. But I bought every single freaking base item. Don't say that buying the base items early scuppered it, because it, it shouldn't have. But yeah, I've got every single base item. Um, what about over here? Let's go and have a look at this. I'll buy that. Get that. Now, I'm, I'm on normal mode right now, so I am actually spending my nanites on these things. I don't really want to go and buy all of that if I can help it, to be honest. I mean, if it's just blueprint menus, I don't overly need any of that right now. It's early game. But this is weird, because even that mission right now seems a little bit strange. Purchase technology blueprints for new ba base parts aboard the Space Anomaly. Done that. Undertake missions with other travellers from the Nexus. Travellers from the Nexus don't actually give you missions. Or exchange discoveries and rare products for nanites, which I've just done. Alright, well, we do the Atlas Path then. We do a step of the Atlas Path and we see if that kicks it into life. Oh my days, this is just like guesswork on top of guesswork. I'm not seeing any mission markers. I'm not seeing anything to actually help me in my quest right now, people. I tell you what, if I, if I don't manage to work it out by the end of this episode, I'll be going on Reddit and reading in my own time. But if I find that this is actually broken, it's down to the Omega quest line and the way that I started into game from Omega, I I don't know whether I could be asked to continue with the PC save. And I'd say Hello Games has seriously got their work cut out, but it could be something stupid that I haven't done or haven't read properly. But at the same time, if I was a new player and I encountered this, this would be the point that I'd down tools. I'll tell you. I mean, I only know what to do because I've played this game for freaking a thousand hours on another save. Okay, chums, well here we are at an Atlas station. Let's go fly on in and uh, let's see what can happen here, people. But you know what? There's a couple of things that put me off of starting a fresh save. One is learning all the Atlas words. One is learning all the races words because you have to go to Knowledge Stones or talk to them and that takes forever and a day. I've installed a couple of mods to speed that up. I've made it so every single message orb in here should give me words. So we're going to put that to a test in a moment. But that really puts me off. I've also put in a mod to allow me to get S-Class everything as, it, as soon as I interact with it. You know, so there's a few things in here to move things on a bit for me. But if I was a fresh player to this, there's just so much busy work inside No Man's Sky that just really needs to be sped up a tad. So like if you do want to learn all the all the words, you know, you've got to tread on all of these things in here. And then you've just got a chance of learning, you know, a few. You learn a dozen in here if if you're lucky, you know. Oh look at that, it says I've learned 60 words. I don't know whether that's in total with all the races so far. But having these mods on has helped me move it on a little bit, a little bit quicker. It's not like super quick. Cool. Well, they, at least we're getting words on each of these. Sometimes, you see the little white dots here? Sometimes treading on those would give you them, but... Yeah. Well, is that it? There seems to be like six or so in here. Normally, there's loads. Alright, there's one over there. I'll go tread on that one. And there's one over there as well. Get that one. Go get this one. But, uh, you know... I'm not going to see whether the Atlas has got any new words for me here because there's just not enough of these little message orbs to jump on to actually give me a poxy sentence yet. Ah, I missed that one. Get it. Alright, that one's broken. Fine. And over here, let's go pick up these. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to pick up these, these, um, these warp fuels. Okay, I'm not having them apparently. All right, okay, cool. Hello there, Nexus. You, the infinite. See, I only know a handful of words. I don't really know much at all. So I might as well just, just tap through all of this. There we go. Except Pathfinder and above. I mean, the whole reason that I've up, spun up this save is to be a pirate, yeah? I wasn't going to save Artemis anyway. I was going to tell him the truth. So if the Artemis questline is broken, sod it. And I want to become a pirate, and I want to deny the Atlas. 
basically I want to do the whole Atlas path and just deny the Atlas. So now that the Artemis path seems to be completely fudged because I can't expand my base, because I can't get a science terminal, I may as well just, you know... Oh, look! It's now just given me the recipe for... Oh, no, it hasn't given me the recipe for chromatic metal. I knew how to make chromatic metal all that time ago. But could it be that it's that that stopped me from moving forwards? It might be. Let's go into the old um, right menu, eh? And let's uh, let's make that red dot. I wonder if that's now going to allow me to move on on. So there's the Atlas path. Locate the next Atlas station. I'd rather not. Return home. We could try that. We'll see if it moves it on just by a sheer freaking miracle. But what else have we got up here? Drop pods. Freighter command. Under Rebel Star. Sentinel Interceptor Trace. Ooh, could go get a Sentinel Interceptor ship next time, people. But what I'm thinking is maybe if I just clear this whole missions board. Maybe if I clear all this mission... Expanding the base! Look at that! There's another mission over here that says... Ex no! Are you having a laugh? Is that what I had to do? Oh, you freaking git of a game! Okay, right. Let's. I've got it. I've got it, mate. Why does that not trigger through the actual Atlas, the Artemis quest line that's got exactly the same step in it? That is so freaking confusing. That was just by sheer freaking chance that I thought I'd look through my missions log. Oh, you're. Oh, God, I'm so annoyed. Okay, right, okay. There you are, people at home. You was probably screaming at the screen. Steve, no, you have to go and select the mission. Expand in your base. Yeah, I found it. I found it after. Frickin' half an hour of bouncing across all the main missions. There's a sub frickin' mission. Yeah, that would have been nice if it told you that, wouldn't it? On the actual tutorial steps. Oh my days, that's not simple or intuitive or player friendly in any way, shape, or form. Oh, hello, games. If this works, if this fixes it, Hello Games, you seriously need to work on the tutorial steps that pop up in the bottom corner of the screen down there. To say, select the actual mission, expand in the base, it's a sub-mission. You know, even if you bloody put a screenshot in it, like you do on some of the other bigger sort of tutorial steps. Because that, that my friends, really was not intuitive at all. And I've got a few missions there, so I, I didn't see it. Right, there you go, let's go back there then. I'll see you back at my base. Okay, I've arrived, Katie, back at my base. Let's so head up here then. There we go. He's now got a mission marker above his head. I don't know why a main mission has to spin up a sub mission. That's just freaking bizarre. Maybe it's been so long and I just didn't remember this. Or maybe it used to actually ping you over to the right mission before and now it doesn't. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe there's a new bug there. Anyway, there's the chromatic metal, you freaking little git. Okay, cool. Now it gives me the science terminal plans. There we are. Yeah, I finished talking to you, mate. I was about to go and build it. All right. Lovely. Yeah, accept. Cool. All right. Now we can stick down that one. So it should be under this menu here. And there it is there. It'd be nice if it was flashing at you to sort of um, signify that that was indeed what you needed to grab. But, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm going to stick this here, I think. Have this little chat there. And we've now got to go and recruit a, a scientist. And it's given me the coordinates already. Things seem to be working again now, chums. Apart from I can't find my freaking ship! Okay. I keep losing my ship at this base. I, huh. Sometimes it's in the mezzanine. Sometimes it's somewhere else. Maybe I shouldn't have built here, people. Ah, oh, for fudge sake! Where's my ship? Okay, it's down here now. Okay, cool. Fun times. Right. Go. Take to the skies! Now, I leave in all the bits of frustration for two reasons. One, if you're having the same frustrations at home, 
you can actually see just how long it took me and you can sympathize and for those that see it as being freaking obvious at what I had to do hopefully you're screaming at the screen engaged to see if I actually work it out eventually and then realize I'm a complete freaking potato uh, I don't know whether I am a complete freaking potato in this case because I honestly thought you select a main mission to progress a main mission you don't have to select a sub mission I didn't think to check page two either. You would have thought if it was a mission that you needed to do, it would shuffle it up to the top of the tree. No, it doesn't do that. No. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully you're laughing, but at the same time, you're like, Captain Steve, come on. You've played this for how many years? You must know this. Well, I haven't done a fresh playthrough for a freaking time and a half. The last time I did a fresh playthrough was in VR. And then I got so far with it and I thought, why am I doing this all over again? Because they haven't added in new missions. At least now they've added in this whole new sort of arc to the um, Atlas path, you know? Yes, I'd love to have you there. In fact, I think you look pretty darn snaz, mate. Yeah, I'll have you. And not that I can ever pronounce Kate your name. Second one. There you go. Right, well, he's hired, I think. Let's just um, interact with him. Yeah, it says return to your base. Show respect. Okay, mate. All right, well, I'll see you back at my base. I'm just going to use this terminus to get myself back there, to be honest. And um, he's going to magically teleport there himself. Chicka bear! See you back at base. Okay, Jones. Well, we're back at base. And uh, there's my little Corvax unit friend. Hello there, chappy. All right, how's things? You doing good? I'm glad you're here. At last. Yeah, freaking awesome. Okay, go on. Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Cool. Okay, well, welcome. Sweet. Oh, he's giving me blueprints for lubricant and acid. This guy is freaking awesome. Thank you very much. Cool. He wants me to get him some marrow bulb and micro pressors for advanced refiners. Alright. Okay. That I can do. Yeah, I can get all that from inside of a cave. And we'll be doing that next episode since we spent so much time fanny around doing nothing. We did freaking nothing. All right, okay, where's my, where's my ship? Why can't they just put it in the same place every time? Why is it that I have to play find my ship every time I come back to my poxy base? Oh, it's up there this time. Look, there it is. All right, cool. Fun times. All right. How often does your ship troll you people inside the viewerverse? How often does your ship play find the ship when you go to your base? Even though there's a freaking roster of landing pads it can poxy well choose from. Okay, right, there we go. We've made a save. I'm about done. I need a cup of tea to unwind from this episode, people. That was not fun. I have to say that was not fun, but I still enjoyed making the video and I'm still enjoying progressing my progress towards getting myself to deny the Atlas and get the seed of the denier and see exactly what this means when the next update comes out and what choices we get locked into and what that means for our player saves. Because on my PlayStation, I've aligned myself with the Atlas. On this save, I want to align myself with the Void Mother or um, the Atlantid or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I am, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what happens once that actually comes to fruition, people. So I want to get the Seed of Denier on this save and see what that means for future sort of progress. I am so hoping that there's going to be brought into game some sort of end game loop for players that have gone through all the story arcs and got their saves to the point where everything is as classed and there's literally nothing else they can do other than perhaps cookery. I don't know anybody that's actually invested in and completed all of the cookery book. There's probably a couple of you of you out there i did get mine to about 80 percent complete and on my playstation save when i logged in it says that i'm about 20 20 complete don't know what happened there but it just wiped out a lot of my cookery menus so there's a lot of stuff that i find is quite tedious in game that keeps getting reset itself a bit like my wonders catalog as well that just went completely food bar don't know why but yeah, a few odd oddities inside of the actual verse, to be fair. I'm just going to quit out of game, quit to desktop. There we go. Boom. I've saved the game anyway. But yeah, so that's... I am enjoying it, don't get me wrong, but just this evening's playthrough and that sort of mission marker sort of shenanigans wasn't 
wasn't that intuitive and i'm really sorry if i did frustrate the heck out of you hopefully you got a couple of giggles out of it especially when i actually twigged what i needed to do it was a proper face palm moment that wasn't it now in the whole history of captain steve that's probably the biggest face palm moment ever but i'm still sticking to the guns that the tutorial should have been clearer and for new players if they had the same frustration as me i'm not sure they would have persevered Maybe they would have, or maybe they would have got it straight away. I don't know. To me, it wasn't obvious. Till next time, people. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.